So a lot of people will be going out tonight and tomorrow night. And it turns out for married couples, it's actually a really important tradition. According to a new study, married couples who have a monthly date night and leave the kids at home reduce their chances of splitting up by pretty good chances, 14%. Maybe it's the extra effort of dressing up and spending quality time together outside of the home. By the way, researchers found that effect only worked on married couples, not those that cohabitate together. I think this is really great. A lot of times, you know, when you are married, you have kids right. or you at least just have a lot going on, mm -hmm. whether it's pets or children or two different schedules. So I think it's nice to kind of put that aside yeah. for a little bit and to, yes, work on your relationship together because right. I hate to say it, but that can get lost in the shuffle sure. of things. You get so used to a routine and it's great to be comfortable with someone mm -hmm. where you do have that those right. routines of the day to day, yeah. but you do lose sight of being together mm -hmm. and appreciating that time together. Sometimes it's a rush, you're cleaning the house, you're cooking a meal, whatever it might be, and you almost take for granted the time that you are spending together sure. to maybe even just sit down and have dinner. So if you if you could put all the stress of the home life away and escape mm -hmm. for a little bit just to have date night, I think that's great. And I think for parents with kids, I think it also depends on sometimes I think the age of the kids also can affect it. Mm -hmm. Because when the kids are little, everyone knows if you have tiny kids, then you have to find a babysitter. You have to find places for, for them to go or right. somebody to hang out with them while you go. So a lot of times that kind of throws a, a wrench in the, in the wheel a lot of times. Mm -hmm. As the kids get older, when they're in the teens, it's like, hmm. Do we really want to leave these kids home? <laughs> Do you That's really, a good point. You know, come back and the place is ransacked and you never know what's going to happen. But so I don't even think, I know we call it a date night, mm -hmm. but I don't think even just, even just going out during, the, even if it's just during the day, just for a walk someplace or yeah. just being together, even if it's, some people don't even have to talk to each other. It's just mm -hmm. being together goes a long way. And sometimes you do have to schedule it in, and yeah. I think that's fine. Right. You know, you don't want to lose that spontaneity in your right. relationship either. But if you do make it a point, say, let's not make plans yeah. this day, or, or hey, maybe the kids don't have a soccer game or whatever right. it might be. Let's take advantage of that time and, and really just connect again. And I think your relationship is going to improve from there. I think your kids are going to benefit sure. from it. I just see positive things. Yeah, well, I think kids benefit from it because they see how a relationship probably should be and mm -hmm. how it should be. So hopefully when they get into a relationship, it turns out the same way and yeah. not a bad way. It's a lot of work. It is. But, you know, take the time for it one another. Easy. That's for sure. Brendan, what do you think? You know me. I'm the doctor of love over mm -hmm. here. Date night is crucial, I think. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Date night is crucial, I think, to any relationship, even if you're not married, even if you're just, you know, casually dating. You want to spend that time together and carve yeah. out some, some quality time, just the two of you, movies, drinks, whatever it is, it's good stuff. Well, we have a daily date with our social media friends, and it's happening right now. Let's see what they have to say about this topic. Christine Michaels gets us started this morning saying, if there's problems in a relationship, relationship, a date night isn't the answer. It won't fix a problem. Well, that's probably very true. Jennifer Ewing is into it, saying date night would be great. Haven't had date night in years. Well, maybe you got to get that back into the routine. Tabitha Quigley likes the idea, but has some advice. True, but only if you leave the phones at home and really spend the time enjoying each other. Absolutely. And Margarita Elafsadi's cruise puts things into perspective eloquently, saying, life goes by so fast, it's nice to get together, enjoy, and catch up on each other's day. Absolutely. Thanks for your comments this morning, you guys. And as always, we want to know what you think. Oh, yes, we do. So please leave us a comment on our Facebook page or you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at The Road Show. We would indeed love to hear from all of you guys. It's a great way to stay in touch with the show.